we're going to look at uh, trig equations to just go through the, the basic process of solving a, a trig equation. And by a trig equation, I don't just mean ones where they're in a right angle triangle. So we say you know, tan theta equals something and you assume it's a acute angle. Of course, it could be an infinite number of answers unless they tell me between what angles they want to restrict their answers. So we'll normally see a trig equation accompanied with some sort of domain or range. What would be the correct word? It doesn't really matter. Some sort of range of answers they want it between. So between 0 and 360 is usually what we see because that's just one time around the, the unit circle. So the thought process for something like this, we go, OK, tan's negative. So the first thing I would do is go, OK, well, which, which quadrants are we in? And we say, ah, right, yeah, we're in quadrant two, we're in quadrant four. Once we've identified that, really it comes down again to that idea of finding the acute angle, the associated acute angle. So I change the pronumeral because theta is not necessarily acute, and in this case, actually, it wouldn't be acute. So tan alpha, 2.3673, 67 degrees 6. So then I put the two pieces of information together. I've got the acute angle and I've got the quadrants that it's in. So now we can go and solve the problem. So there's my unit circle. If I'm in the second quadrant or the fourth quadrant, I'm just showing the uh, location of the acute angle there. So I know I'm either 180 minus the acute angle or, or 360 minus the acute angle. And thus we get our our two answers. So that's basically the, I guess, the process we go through for solving a trig equation. Cos theta is a half. A half, of course, is one of our exact values. In this case, quadrant one or four. And locate our acute angle, 60 degrees. So first angle, quadrant's normal, 360 minus 60 or 300. Cosec, of course, the problem with cosec is we don't have a cosec button on our calculator. So I guess the first thing we do is turn it into sine theta equals a quarter. And it's positive, so we're in the first or the second quadrant. Locate the acute angle, put it all together. So we're either alpha or 180 minus alpha. There's our answers. Same technique each time. Hang on a sec. We've got to do a little bit of working out here. It's still just an equation. You make what you're trying to find the subject. The difference with trig is you make the whole trig ratio the subject to what you're trying to find. So we want to make sine x the subject. So we get sine x is negative a half. So again, we work out our quadrants, calculate the acute angle, and finalize the solution. Uh-oh, two trig ratios. How on earth can I do this? Well, a little bit of rearranging. And we can do it, because if I change that to sine theta over cos theta, and I can use that relationship, I get that tan theta is minus two-fifths. So it becomes a standard one to do, second quadrant, fourth quadrant. Cute angle, put it all together. Now, I suppose technically, I should go and check the solutions and see if it works. The only possible problem I could have here is if cos theta was equal to zero, but that's not going to be a situation here because we know cos theta is equal to zero at uh, 90 degrees, and, th and that's not one of my possible solutions here. So we, we should be fine. Cos two theta. Now later on, we'll see some two theta results which might make this easier, but until then, we go, well, hang on, two theta. Well, if I'm looking for answers for theta between 360, first of all, I've got to find answers for 2 theta. And that'll be between 0 and 720. So I've got to go around the circle twice. But other than that, it's exactly the same. I'm in the first quadrant. I'm in the fourth quadrant. I've uh, got my acute. So my possibilities will be the acute angle or 360 minus. But because we're going around twice, we add 360 to, to both of those possibilities. Well, that's what 2 theta is equal to. So now I divide by two, and I actually get four possibilities for, for this one. Okay. So we've got to find two theta before we can find theta, I guess is what I'm saying there. Ooh, sec squared. Okay, we'll make use of one of our trig identities because we'd like the ratios to be the same ratio. So we change sec squared into tan squared plus one. We end up with a quadratic trig equation but still done exactly the same. The pronumeral, if you like, is tan theta. 
uh, multiplies together, you give negative two, adds together, you give one. So we now have two possibilities. Tan theta equals negative two, or tan theta is equal to one. And we just solve each of those independently. So tan theta equals negative two, second or fourth quadrant, acute angle. So I'll come up with two possibilities. Now I'll go and do tan theta equals one. Also two possibilities, the acute angle, an exact value in this case, 45 degrees. Now certainly with this amount of working out, it's good for a nice, neat final answer. And I like to put them in numerical order because I just think it, it looks better. So 45, 116, 34, 225, 296, 34. And, oh, ah, there we go. Okay. 4G. Gee, 